Florida State tailback, uh, the creme de la creme, everyone's favorite running back in this year's draft, uh, finished with a phenomenal career, you know, uh, 687 carries, 4,464 yards, 46 touchdowns in three years, another 935 yards on 79 receptions, His senior year, 1,700 yards, 19 touchdowns, 33 catches. He can do it all. My question for you is, you know, with Ezekiel Elliott's rookie success, are the expectations just too high for rookie running backs this year? I think it's going to be something that you have to battle against a little bit, you know, in the fantasy community anyway, you know, that uh, not everybody is, you know, I said before the draft, if Elliott went to Dallas, he could contend for the rushing title and he ended up winning that. And I don't think that was a big leap to make, you know, even before the draft, if he landed in Dallas with his talents, you know, that was going to be something that absolutely could happen for him. Uh, and he did. And so w- with Cook, you know, I think that I don't think he's Elliott, but he is my favorite running back in this class. I was a little bit surprised that he didn't test very well at the combine. You know, he left a lot to be desired there, I thought. And, you know, that's disappointing. I can't speak for him off the field, so I'm not going to during this time. You know, that's I just don't have any insight there at all. So if he's streaking purely on the field, I think Cook's vision is what really sets him apart. I mean, you're talking about a, a running back that I think when it comes to being able to see multiple things developing around him and able to set defenders up at the second level with his movement at the first level I mean that's that's what we herald Le'Veon Bell for doing so well and Cook is able to do those kind of things really well even as a college running back so that even that developmental curve that a lot of college running backs need to go through when they get to the NFL I don't think that's going to be nearly as steep with him so big positive right there because if you don't have vision you're lost as a running back and Cook brings that to the table in droves Then it comes to his shiftiness in the open field and the shiftiness in space. That's where I think he leaves a little bit to be desired. Somebody made a great observation on Twitter. I wish I could remember who it was, but he doesn't really make sharp cuts in space. He kind of glides away from contact. So when you didn't, when you saw that he didn't have great change of direction in in his, uh, his agility times, um, at the, at the, uh, at the combine, I think that was kind of to be expected if you watch him on tape because he's a guy that kind of glides away from contact. He sees it coming before it's happened. He's got like six pairs of eyes going. So I don't think it's a it's a killer for him in his stock. I think that he finds ways to win and be successful regardless of his weaknesses. Now, he's not going to break tackles like Elliott will, I don't think, um, but he's got incredible burst, man. I mean, C- Cook has probably some of the best, you know, just from stop to start, just boom, take off speed. And, and when he's running outside zone or, you know, crack toss or anything like that, you, it counters even, and he's hitting the outside on those, you know, you can see him turn that corner. It looks like he's going to get rid of the silent. He turns that corner and gets upfield in an instant and turns a couple yard gain where most backs would run out of bounds um, into big chunks, big gains, because he's able to really accelerate down that sideline. So he brings a ton to the table, man. And from a fantasy perspective, you know, what more do you want than a guy who's going to be on the field, all three downs, going to be productive, has feature back traits. I mean, is a great receiver. I think he's one of them. I think he's a super underrated receiver. I still don't think he gets enough respect for what he can do in the passing game. I think this is a guy you could have end up splitting out into the slot and use him similar to how people talk about using Christian McCaffrey. I think Cook could be effective in that role too. So you're talking about a very versatile guy who's very talented. And I know he leaves some things to be desired athletically that you kind of wish were there, but the burst, the acceleration and the ability to be light on your feet, even if you're not I still think he has that. And so for that reason, I'm not really worried about his pro potential. The injuries in the off the field, those are things teams are going to have to assess. But from what I see on the field, man, this guy's a future star. Well, you know, and you, you mentioned a couple of things that, you know, true three down back, he does it all. And, and a lot of that is the receptions. Like you mentioned, it was a little underrated in how good he was in that aspect. And I think that's kind of some of the reasons why, you know, Ezekiel Elliott is like the easy guy to look at, uh, mainly for recency bias, but also because Elliott was, you know, a do it all kind of guy with the receptions. You look at the closest, you know, guy he's competing with in this year's class in Leonard Fournette and, there's questions about his hands and ability as a as a cast as a as a pass catching back, right? So yeah. I'm, my question is though, uh, with the trend in the NFL being to split backfields, uh, Elliott kind of wound up in a very very unique position. Is it? It's easy for me to point to uh, you know Devonta Freeman. Uh, because, you know, he's another Florida State guy that was kind of similar that can, you know, catch out of the backfield that has burst, that has power, that is explosive. And it's like, you know, literally is a threat to take it to the house 
uh, anytime he touches the ball. Uh, but is it fair to say that, you know, Cook is similar, more similar to Freeman than he is to somebody like Elliott? Or oh, they yeah, all kind of in the same class. I no, I think he is more more similar to Freeman than he is to Elliott. And I'm I'm perennially awful at uh player comps. Um, but I, I do think, yeah, way more Freeman um than Elliott. And again, he and Freeman are not dissimilar in a lot of ways. You know, you mentioned the Florida State connection. So for that reason, I really stay away from the comp when I'm just talking, you know, freely, uh, you know, because I think that a lot of people th- will just dismiss it all out of hand. But it really right. is a pretty right. decent comp. I mean, you know, Cook maybe has a little bit more power and a little bit, but, but Freeman is one in, in a lot of the same ways in terms of having that ridiculous burst. And his vision is improved to the point now where Freeman is one of those guys that you can consider probably he doesn't get used in that way because Tevin Coleman is used a lot too, but he has that feature back ability. So I think Cook's a little bit more talented. I think he brings a little bit more natural vision to the table, but the way Freeman's progressed in his NFL career already, you know, yeah, I think that there's a lot of similarities in their games and where Cook really can differentiate himself is that I think he's a bigger build and you would love to see him continue to be more of a tackle breaker. He flashes it at times, um, but it's just not his forte. Uh, it's not his thing like Elliott or even like Fournette. You know, those are not, they're not, uh, he's not going to win in that way as consistently as those guys. That's okay. Not every back needs to win the same way, but it's certainly helpful. And I think that's an area of his game that, you know, there's enough flashes that make me think that he can continue to improve at that at the next level, you know, continue to improve his balance and things like that and picking up his feet, running through arm tackles or, mm-hmm. or diving tackles, things like that. Cause his awareness is so good. I think some of those things, he could be able to slip more of those than Freeman does at the NFL level. 